I have teamed up with the amazing Lusso Babies to show you what is inside my changing bag for Mole. Um, I can't wait to do this video because I personally watch them all the time. So if you're into that kind of thing and you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up as it helps me out so much and subscribe to my channel down below. Um, I've got tons of mother and baby related content to come so if you are into that then um, you know subscribe and stay tuned. This is my changing bag, so it is, well you can see clearly it's black with gold detailing which I absolutely love. I think that it will go perfect with most of my clothes, in fact all of them, and I'm really like glad it's a black bag as well because if it does get dirty and stuff it's, you're not going to pick up on it straight away, whereas my one before that was white. Um, and the best thing about this bag is it just fits so much in it while still like you know looking really trendy and like not like oversized if you get what I mean. So here it is, it is absolutely beautiful, um, I just cannot believe how much stuff it really fits in. So I'm going to go through it now. So I would like to say um, thank you to Lusso Babies for kindly gifting me with this bag, it has been a life changer. Um, so in the front pocket, I'll do this one first. It is actually insulated, so it keeps you know your milk for your baby warm, which is really good for Mole, um, because she does like to have like a nice warm bottle. Um, she, ha I've not put a bottle in it right now, obviously, because she doesn't need it. She's actually having a nap. So um, what I have done, so she would have a milk in here, is what I'm saying, uh, in this one, and then uh, she's got a water in this one to keep that cool. Um, this is her water cup, which. I know it sounds silly me just showing you a water cup, but this has really helped her take to having water. I mean, she loves water, um, but if it if it's in a bottle, and if I've tried her with a sippy cup, she's just not really liked it. Whereas this one, she's just kind of got the hang of it straight away, and it doesn't spill out either. Um, so yeah, um, I think it's called the 360, but it's really good, so I've got that one. And then there's a zip pocket here, you can see that on camera, and what I like to keep in here is her dinner and snacks, so um, a little just wafer, something to chew on whilst we're out because she does get fed up quite easily if we're out for a while, so them or the Ella's Melty Puffs are really good for just to keep her occupied a little bit longer. Um, a nice easy pouch, I just prefer taking pouches out with me for a dinner because they're less likely to leak everywhere and I don't know, they're just they're quick and easy, you can just squirt them onto a spoon and they're done. So we love Ella's and then I also take out like a, a fruit pouch with us because sometimes her mood doesn't always allow us to feed her a vegetable based meal which, you know, I'm obviously, I don't, like I'm not too happy about that but if we're out, I'd rather just not have the stress, so I'd rather just give her something else that she'd like, like so I'll give her a fruit one, um, so then at least she's a little bit full. Whereas if we're at home, I'd really, you know, keep system with trying it with the veg so she gets that in. I wouldn't just give up straight away and give her a fruit one. So that is the full pocket, and then obviously I'll keep a little spoon in there for her, but she doesn't need that right now because we're not going out just yet. Um, then we've got, oh I'll just show you these, so this bag, it is a backpack as well which is great because um, I always hate like when you've got one on your shoulder and you can just slide off and you're just constantly like putting them back on your shoulder, so backpacks are really comfortable, um, at, or if you didn't want to wear it as a backpack you have got the option to clip it onto your pram or stroller so it's pretty handy either way really. So I'm going to open it up, in fact I'll show you the sides here first, sorry I'm all over the place. We've got another storage pocket here where you could probably put your own water bottle in and you've got one on the other side and then I'll show you this feature which is one of my favourites, it's a zip pocket here and what it does it gives you access to the very bottom of the bag. So if you needed to give her a quick change, then I can literally, well if you didn't need to give her, 
I needed to give her a quick change. I can literally just pull out what I need rather than going in from the top of the bag and trying to rummage my way through it. So that really has helped me out so much. Um, then we've got a secure zip pocket here and I like how this zip pocket is not very deep so whatever I need I can literally feel it straight away so you can put your phone in there or you can I put um, a teether in there or a dummy but she's not really into dummies anymore so this is her matchstick monkey teether and obviously it's so much easier just getting it quick out of there than having to find it you know elsewhere in the bag so I love how it's got a small zip pocket right in there. So yeah, we love the matchstick monkey to you there. Yeah. And then you open the bag up and um, first thing I just put in is her blanket. Now she'll probably, i probably just like put this over her straight away in the pram. It's from Zara Home and it is a winter one. It's a gingerbread if you can see it. So she has that and I think that's dead nice, so soft. Um, oh she's got different blankets, I just alternate putting one in. Um, then I have got a, a hair on it? bib and I prefer the ones with sleeves that go quite low as well because she tends to get her food everywhere. Not a fruit though, she won't drop any of that, but if it's a vegetable, she will be determined to get it anywhere but her mouth. So, that one. I think it's quite, yeah, it's got stains on it and stuff that won't come out in the wash, but um, I've just given up trying to, with the bibs, trying to get them like perfect all the time because they're a bib, aren't they? There's no point. Um, then I always carry a hat, a spare hat anyway, in case I forget to put one on her before I go out. And that's the same with the scarf, this is a snood so I like to put one on, on her in case, um, you know, it starts getting cold. And then a spare socks because she always pulls them off. So I feel more comfortable taking her out when I've got all of that because I don't think there's anything worse than when you take your baby out and you forget something then it's like in the cold and um, this is a spare sleep suit from Jules so um yeah what why did I, my brain is just gone so I pack a sleep suit because well if she needs a spare set of clothes because she's like gone through her others then it's always handy to have one for her and I just find sleep suits the easiest to just one outfit slip in and then if I'm getting a change in a public toilet somewhere um, it's just easier to put on rather than you know fucking with tights or something like that so I love that one <coughs> um, excuse me I also like how that Jules one is you know quite pretty and so if I am out somewhere she still looks you know quite trendy as well um, then we have so this bag also comes with a changing mat which folds up and it is wipeable as well. So that's super handy to have and I look at just, you know, it folds up straight away and you can literally just slot it in the bag and it takes up no room at all, it's nice and thin, easy to just grab out, so we have that. Um, nappy wipes, so these are... Um, not really my favourite ones, the Huggies ones, I just don't like, I know they're probably better for the environment, I think that's why they do it, they're just like paper, wet paper, um, but we've got, we bought a box full, so um, yeah, we've got to get through them. I also really like Tesco's own, they smell great, and Morrison's smell beautiful as well, they're all make, so they're my favourite ones. Then we have nappies. So can you see, instead of me having to take all that out if I wanted to change it and go through the bottom of the bag, I can literally just open this up here and just pull one out, which is fab. So I actually pack two different types of nappies for her. I know, um, very over the top, but 
some, I just really honestly live my day going to de depending on what mood she's going to be in because um, it just makes my life so much easier. These nappies are the Asda's ones which are really good, I've not had any issues with them so far um, and they're the ones with the tabs which um, I really prefer of being in like these type of ones but if she's so wriggly and like I'm you know, you're in a really small baby changing room and um, I just, it's so much easier to just grab one of these, the pants ones, and um, cause she likes to roll over and crawl and now she's trying to stand up. Um, it's 10 times easier putting her in one of these elasticated ones, so I like to have just a few on them if I can. Um, but if I am going in like a long journey in the car then um, I do like it to be in the tabbed ones because they're a little bit bigger for us, so yeah, I don't know. I just like them better. Um, inside the bag, we also have like different storage compartments in there. Um, there's one, two, three, four. There's five storage compartments. One of them being with a zip, um, and there's also one of these that you can attach your purse to or your car keys. So if you needed to grab them out, you can do. So it's like having your own handbag and changing bag in one, so it's pretty good. So in one of the compartments I just carry nappy bags, these are the Tesco's ones. Um, excuse me. These are, they're okay, they're just nice and cheap. I really like Aldi's as well, they, uh, they're pretty good. And we have nappy cream, this is the, I always call it something else, but it's Panthol. I keep calling it for Panthem, I don't know why. Um, I think this cream is brilliant. So she um, doesn't have nappy rash or anything at the moment. So I just keep it in there just in case. I don't like to put stuff on it if she's a-okay. So, But that one has been pretty good for her when she has. And then um, I always have Calpol on me as well. So if she's teething, you know, in at the moment she's got one coming through I just think it's so you know it's better for her really if she's got painkiller whilst we're out um, so yeah I just carry that in the bag just in case we ever need it and um, put that back in there before I forget to put it back in and that's oh wait no one more thing gosh see you can fit so much stuff in here it's unbelievable these are just um, sterilizer wipes so they're from Newbie and um, when she used to have a dummy and was constantly throwing it on the floor it used to drive me insane because I'd just be you know, picking it up and um, I just used to take loads of spare dummies out with me and um, it got just it got ridiculous the amount of time she just threw things on the floor. So like with the matchstick monkey, if she throws him on the floor or her, um, I can just put one of these sterilised wipes on it and then she's good to go in again. So yeah, that's everything inside this bag. I really don't think there's anything else hiding in here. No. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please give it a thumbs up if you did, that would help me out. Um, yeah, check out also Babies because they have the most beautiful, inexpensive changing bags and I just think my favourite feature of this has to be the front pocket, how it's insulated so it keeps the milk warm and the food fresh and um, whilst also having the easy access back to it. It's just brilliant. So yes, thank you so much for watching and um, yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. And I'm going to start getting really awkward now so I'm going to just um, turn the camera off. <laughs> Bye guys!